Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. As always, this is Xavier Penguin. Um, yeah. I recorded this just a little while ago, and apparently during recording with DX Story, um, it effed up my audio, so I'm having to record this from within Adobe Premiere Pro 2015. Um, I'll try to nail everything that I got before. <coughs> and if you take a look in the lower right hand corner, there is no X on exit game. It's just it game. Just it game. But it looks like I'm about 51% of the way through. I don't know if it's 51% of the way through or if it's 51% um, of collectibles. Um, so yeah, yeah. It was really, oh, man. I was I was recording. Everything was going fine. I go up to start editing editing my videos today, and I hear my voice, but it's all robotic sounding. I'm like, what in the world? And I know it. I know it's done that before, and that was because of DX story. Something had happened there. Um, but what you're mostly going to see is just me playing through the game, and I will try to do the voice acting where possible like what's probably about to come up here yeah at a uh, mud bog island I'll try if I can remember my points wait no not here it's afterwards that a lot of the voice acting is going um so for right now I guess you're just gonna see some gameplay and if there is something interesting that does come up I will, um, I'll give my two cents. Otherwise, enjoy the game. I mean, th this this is a very, whoop, there's this is a, a fun game to, to play. I mean, like I've stated before, I can't wait for Half Genie Hero to come out. Hopefully it comes out. Um, geez, woman, stab me with a sword? Um, hopefully it comes out soon. And I didn't even know that there was a Kickstarter for it, otherwise I probably would have, but I think I was playing the first one uh, and all of that. So yeah, it, it kind of makes me has a sad that I don't have uh, this game to, to play. I mean, I want to. That would be fun. What we're doing here, I think... Was it this episode? How long is this? About 36 minutes? And I'll be cutting some stuff out anyway. Um, I think most of this is playing catch up. I think that's why I wanted to name this episode. Yeah. Just for the fact that I'm trying to go back through this level, through, uh, through this world to find the purple blocks, like the one that you see on the right right now. Um, I'm going to go through and see what all I missed. And of course to go back through the temple where there's more purple blocks that I, that I apparently had missed. And so I want to go off and, and get that. Come to find out here, as I make my way over, there's a block. And there is a Tinker Bat, and I really want him, but I can't, because I can't break the stinking block. And it frustrates me. So I just basically say, well, try to see if I can go up and push it. Nothing to destroy it with. I've basically found everything, except what's in that current room. And then I'm like, hey, what's that above me? Why can't I just go there and try to pound the ground that I'm on? And that's what you see here. And boom, dead. <laughs> that happens to me sometimes. As you guys know, I'm more about the story anyway. Because I do like the story. Found out something very interesting during this little time frame. Well, not, not at this point, but later on. Sneaky, sneaky individuals, that's all I say. Yeah, I can't break through. 
Dang it. Fine. Just go this way. I think that's kind of what I said. Do, do, do. Yeah, I did do a lot of talking, and that's coming up here shortly, so I don't know. There's got to be an easier way to get rid of those guys. The, the bow and arrow people. The, the ones that look like ladies that sound like a guy whenever they get hit. So it's like, I don't know. Hey, little blue dude. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Hey, Tinkerbat. Let me get my... Let me suck up all this dark magic. I was on mute just now. Um, <laughs> I think while she was holding up the, uh, the lamp, I think I said jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Oh well. Pixel animation at its finest. And I'm like, well, I've done enough here. Time to go and Play use the activated. pirate flare. Get out this piece. So yeah, we are ready to shove off. To Mudbog Island. Yeah, so here, here's some voice acting here. I'll try to recreate it again. Land ho! Welcome to Mudbog Island. It smells kind of bad. We've cut three fifths of the pirate master's power. He's sure to have noticed by now. Even from the grave, he'll attempt to impede our progress somehow. But enough of that. We have something more to discuss. Oh? I think I figured out the origin of the dark magic. How? Process of elimination. When the genies defeated the pirate master, they had drained themselves completely to get the job done. They reduced him to mere ash and bone. Without magic to sustain them, the genies faded from this world. No more genies with their light magic. No more Pirate Master with his dark magic. Just you. Me? When I borrowed your magic to suit my purposes, I made a wish, remember? You took over my magical half? And used it for evil? So... You turned it into dark magic? That's right. But I destroyed it after that. Perhaps, perhaps not. It's more likely that you scattered the magic. Why would you say that? Because magic can never be truly destroyed, can it? I don't know. Not long after that encounter, the curse placed upon my men began to take effect, indicating that a new source of dark magic had been found. Whatever the magic's origin, we can worry about that later. You've got another den of evil to find. Could this be true? The pirate master is using my magic? Let's go. Yep. That was a revelation. I didn't realize. Now, again, this might also take some stuff from the very first game for the uh, Game Boy Color. And I have not played that, though I, I, I think I would be interested in playing that game. I think that would be really neat to play. But yeah, the uh, Risky Boots apparently had... Oh, these guys. I hate these guys. I just encountered them. Good animation, though. Very fluid. Um, seems to me that Risky had stolen her magic, and now that she's the half-genie... Um, but I can't remember from the Pirate's Curse what had happened there. 
Because so I know now I don't have any magical ability. I am just now a human with long locks of hair that I use to whip my enemies into submission. You know, that kind of thing. But that's really about it. Now, I'm hoping that the new game, Half a Genie Hero, I hope that she gets it back. Well, hell, I don't know. Maybe at the end of this game I get it back. I, I don't know. Yeah, that don't work, Shantae. Just whip them with your hair. But they do go pretty quick once you spam whip them with your hair. I'm a bug. I'm a bug. My butt just killed you, monster. Popping him, and I didn't even notice that he popped up. I like the sounds that it came out of uh, whenever... Dang it. Get frustrated, I'm like, I want to eat. I like it whenever the sounds come out. Whenever you hit them. That bug has fireworks of his own. Stupid blobs that pop up out of nowhere. I just did not notice that until now. There is a heart squid up there. I might have to go back later and, uh, and go get that. Like I said, I did not know that there was one. But this is weird. I defeated all the enemies in that last room, as you saw. And I come over here, wiggle my hips, get the dark magic, get an achievement, and then as I exit, no, go back, Shantae, me, the enemies are back. It's like, I didn't change room, I didn't change scene, so what happened? I... And apparently, I am just taking way... Too much damage for my own good. There, there's no reason for me to take the damage that I've been doing. Or been getting, rather. So it's like, wait a minute now. I need to fix that. So hopefully, whenever I play next time, whether it's this or just trying to get some gems in between sessions, um, I've got to figure out why. I'm getting all of these, uh, why am I, mm, why I'm getting attacked or put myself in harm's way. I don't know. I seriously don't know. Like, see, right there, you know, I there was no reason for me to stand there when I already know... Damn, damn guys. Um, there was no reason for me to stand there when I know his movements by now. Oh, here's some more voice acting. What? Who are you? Mm, uh, <clears throat> I am a hexer beyond this gate. Uh, the village of the lost souls. Lost souls? It's a place. Separate from those who are living. 
and those who have moved on. Mm. You may not enter this place. Yeah, I... No idea why I can't. Apparently, I have to be dead somehow. That's the only thing that I can think of. It's the only thing I can think of, and I think here I'm like, you know what, F it. I don't want to go back. I think it's time for a... Um, to just take me back through this... What was the item called? Go back. There we go. The pirate flare. And I think I just go right back to town and talk to some of the people there. And I did find some, some good information. It's just a matter on how to get it. And unfortunately, I might have to look this up. I might have to... Might have to look at a, a small strategy just to figure out how... Because I'm going through this like the last maybe 10 minutes of this episode could be just outright cut out. And I think I just might do that. Because I'm trying to find out, okay, where can I go? But first, I talk to this dude here. And get me some more pirate flares, because, you know, those are handy. Look through, kind of gauge on what I want, and I think I deal with the shampoo. Because the shampoo will allow me to hit harder. And then I think I've got one more upgrade on silky cream, if that's the case, to whip my hair faster. So that way I can deal more damage, you know, more, you know, the DPS kind of thing. Let's see, where do I go first? I think I go see... Yeah, I come up here to Sky's place. <laughs> this scene. Promise me we'll never ever speak of those princess costumes again. You, what, you mean this one? Yes, I kind of went through it quickly, so I couldn't really say anything. But apparently Sky is embarrassed because of the princess costumes, the space princess costumes. But this guy has some information. Talk to him a little bit. Ah, Bolo. Well, I'm back at my dead-end job working for your uncle. Call. Hello. It's true. Nobody needs me. There's never enough hero work, no offense. I've pretty much blown every chance that's come down the pike. Not only that, but Sky says I missed out on some kind of adventure. Sounds like even Risky Boots was in on that. Oh, Bolo, you've got it all wrong. It was mostly like a girl adventure. It was really hot there. And we got all trapped and had to wear those little metal bathing suits. Just leave me alone. Hello. Maybe I should try building a steam engine again. Sounds like fun. <laughs> and that's the only thing good old uncle had to say. But then I start talking to uh, Sky's parents, the parental units. Yeah, I know she's not happy, but apparently she threw a mummy in a dumpster. Where the brack is the dumpster? And so this is the part where I just try to go around trying to think, well, where could a dumpster be? Because if I could do a mummy, find a mummy, be one and all that, then my way of thinking is I should be able to get in to this place. Or at least that's my... That's my idea, at least. Yeah, I thought at this point, maybe if I keep going back to uh, my house and everything, I might run into a dumpster, but just beyond that would have been where the mayor is sitting on his thing 
sitting in his chair wanting some lollipops of sorts. Flesh pops down in the sewers. Down in the sewers. That's where that's where the other one is. Oh my goodness. I bet it's there. Dang it. Okay. Now's the point where I need a pencil and paper or pen and paper to figure out where I want to go. Or at least remember what I had said. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to... Oh yeah, this lady said it, I could pierce zombie graves. So I thought, hmm, maybe if I go to Spiderweb Island, I believe, whatever that other island was, go through there and see if I can't... Yes, I know, I've got the scimitar. I'm thinking that maybe what I'll do is just pause myself here and then go back. Oh yeah, that's a little inside joke to what Shantae looked like before in the Game Boy uh, color version. Black pants. Easier to render, I think. Um, Ash a wall. I don't think I have a wall bash. But I don't think I could use it. Because I think I have to... I have to get something. Can't remember what. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off here. And then rejoin whenever something amazing does happen. Because here, I'm just attempting to grind or do something to try to get, uh, try to find some more answers, and apparently it's it's just not going to work. So I'm going to cut this part out, and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. So yeah, I'm back. Yeah, everything else after from when I stopped, it's just a bunch of I'm trying to go back to, oh jeez. Hmm. All right, <clears throat> was to go back. To Sun T uh, to Tanline Island and uh, go through and get another heart squid. So there wasn't much that, that you missed. But what we'll do is we will go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, let's see. Get down here to save. Come on, Grandpa. Save. Thank you. As always, I do like to thank you all for watching. And I appreciate every view that I can get because I'm having fun with this. I'd like to thank you for watching. My name is Xavier Pinkwin. I'll catch you on the flip side.